Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video I wanted to show you how you can create this overhang using ramps, which is not as straightforward as it might look because by default you can't do the overhangs in channel ramps, but with a few tricks we can get this look. So let's get started. So we will start from scratch. So let's create a geo container in a new scene and I'm gonna start with a line uh, I don't think I change anything in here and then we can add a resample to get the curve view. So let's do a resample. In this case I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna subdivide it quite a bit, so 0.002 and I'm going to output the curve view. So let's see, we have quite a few points because we will need it to displace it properly and we have the curve view which is a value from 0 to 1 along the curve. So now we will first displace it in, to have the, the leaf contour. So for that I'm going to create a wrangle and do a simple displace along the normal. Uh, so to make this easy we can create uh, the normals along the x. So vector normal it will be equal to 100 zero, zero, so along x. And then we can create a ramp to displace it. So I'm going to call it leaf ramp and it will be equal to a CH ramp. I'm going to call it leaf and I'm going to use the curve view to displace it. So curve view. And now we can just displace it along the normals. We have done this plenty of times before and we can multiply it by the leaf ramp. And in the end, we can have just another multiplier to control the effect. So I'm going to call it leaf disp. Let's see how that looks. So leaf ramp lowercase. So let's create this and increase the displacement. As you can see, it's displacing along the X. In this case, I'm going to set it to 5.5 and I'm going to pick here Bezier. And in this case, I can just have a value like, so I'm going to put this one down and just displace it in here. So something along those lines we'll do. Let me just check. So around 0.7 something. So just to create the, the leaf look. And I'm going to make sure to drag this one to the end. So something like that. If we mirror this, we will have the leaf shape. And you can play with it to have more or less and play with the displacement amount. In this case, I think I'm going to... Yeah, something like that will do. So... Now we want to create that overhang look, but before that let's create the normals because we will need them. So orient along curve and in this case we want, we don't want uh, the normals along the tangent, we actually want them in the, along the x-axis. So this, we, we want these normals so we can rotate them and create that overhang look. So now let's create another angle and we still have that curve view that we will need to displace along the these attributes and we have the normal let's see what we will do so first of all i'm gonna create a, a float variable called u which will be equal to curve view because we will manipulate it and instead of always typing curve view we can just use a, a variable it will be easier then uh, before we create the overhang let's just uh, create um, let's just displace the normals so let's do v at n it will be multiplied by a channel ramp and i'm gonna call it this and along u and then i'm going to displace it so ju just like we have done before and i'm gonna multiply it by a displacement amount this amount let's see how that looks so we can create a displacement amount and now in the displacement, we can do the following. We can take the last value, we can create here a new value and drag the last value down and we create this overhang look. And now we can repeat the, the curve view. So we can just say, we can re create the repeating pattern just by multiplying the, the curve view by a channel amount so i'm gonna call it reps and if we do that and let's say 20 and then we need to modulate 
to so it can repeat so under load by 1.0 so we can wrap around so as you can see it's creating the effect and we can control the displacement amount but as you can see it's not really creating the overhang look because to do that we actually need to rotate the normals so let's do that let's create first an angle so a variable called angle and it will be a channel ramp uh, let's call it angle ramp and it will be along we will manipulate the u value uh, then we want to rotate so for that i'm going to create a quaternion so vector for what it will be equal to a quaternion and we will rotate by the angle amount and along in this case along the z-axis so set zero zero one and let's see how that looks and next we need to actually rotate the normals so we will say v at n it will be equal to q rotate q rotate and we will rotate the quaternion along the normal so let's see how that looks and if we create the values as you can see it's already creating that look so in this case we want to play with this ramp and as you can see it's creating that look but i still want to to tweak it so for that i'm going to create um, another ramp i believe yeah we need to create here another ramp for the angle so we can manipulate it along the the u attribute so let's do angle times equals ch ramp and we will say angle malt along the in this case along the curve view not the u because the u is already being repeated so now if we adjust properly the the ramps so the displacement is fine and in the angle ramp we can manipulate it a bit so let's do something like this and for the angle multiplier we can start i and reduce it a bit in here and as you can see it's creating that that uh, overhang look and if we change the displacement amount we have something like this and to finish it off we can actually use a power function in here to to create a, a more smooth look along the the u so if we do u equals to power function of u and let's create a channel float called u power and let's actually create that and let's set it to 1.5 so 1.5 and as you can see we can manipulate in here where it start the the the, the fall off effect let's say so in this case i set it to 1.5 and you can always manipulate here how the it ends in this case i'm gonna set it like this so i can repeat it easily so i can mirror it and it has this look so that's basically it i hope you got something out of this it was uh, something i wanted to do for a while but i didn't know how to so now you can you you also know how to do it and hopefully it will be helpful in your future projects and we can manipulate here the ramp and create in here let's say b spline and we can create a more uh, another a different look and you can always increase in here and create this more rounded look let's say so you can play with it and yeah that was basically it you can also change the repetitions if you want less let's say 15 and you have this overhang look thank you for watching if you want, you can grab the file on my Patreon alongside with hours of exclusive tutorials and also some, some courses that you can find in there. See you next time. Thank you.